and the unsung hero for 2010 is Lawrence Agif. Last year he was the toast of the big BBC bash in Birmingham, the basketball coach from Bedford winning the national title. Thank you very much, it's uh, a great award and uh, a great honour. He's shooting, and you go, box, like that, yeah? It's solid, it's box! Lance teaches basketball to all kinds of groups, from young offenders to children with disabilities. This session is for young people on the Marsh Farm Estate in Luton. He didn't need to win a trophy to be a hero in their eyes. I'm thankful that he started this off because it's given me somewhere to improve because before I was just playing with school. It was sports personality, level, yeah, we saw that. Like, it was all very happy for him because he's, all, like, he's done a lot for all of us. It gives them a choice, you know, they might not want to be in a gang, um, they might not want to be out. This gives them an excuse. They, they can come here, uh, they can be part of a team, make new friends, uh, and this is their gang. For Lance Haggith, there aren't enough hours in a day. He runs 10 basketball sessions every week, touching the lives of 200 people. He's also started a charity to make sport affordable to everyone. Can you catch? Good girl. He's got time for everyone too. Vulnerable children, young offenders, ex-prisoners, the homeless and those who can't afford to play sport. Today he's bringing basketball to children with disabilities. How would you describe him? Uh, uh, tall. This should be an opportunity for all youngsters, regardless of ability, disability or background. Lance isn't just a coach, he's set up a chain of charity sports shops called Sports Trader. The idea is simple, he gets sports kit that no one wants and he gives it to people who need it. A few months ago we had a, a couple of brothers who were going to football every other week, primarily because they only had one pair of football boots, they were sharing a pair. Um, we just gave a free pair and uh, it meant that they could uh, uh, both go. Through the shops, he's given work opportunities to people he's met in the basketball sessions, including ex-prisoners and the homeless. Oh, it makes a hell of a difference. We have uh, youngsters that were involved in crime and that who are now playing for a team. Um, we've got one young man who's played for Great Britain and has now gone a full, sc full scholarship in, uh, in America. Taking a wanted kit and passing it on ticks every box. It's recycling. But more important to life, it means that sport really can be for all. Violent entertainers. Oh.